Hey everyone, it's your host Cyber Gaming Studios, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about PS4 Remote Play and the PS4 Remote Play version 8.2. Version 8.2 has a lot of changes, specifically with permissions and other things, etc., etc. And in this video, we're going to be going in depth, and we're going to go ahead and talk about PS4 Remote Play from the perspective of installing it via a custom recovery. If you don't have a custom recovery and you're looking into this video, this could be useful for you if you're specifically looking into another older device, such as the Nexus series or Pixel, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and then you're able to root it. As long as you're able to root it, unlock the bootloader, root it, and being able to be on stock, then you'll be perfectly fine. However, for me, in my case, I'm not on stock. I am actually on a custom ROM. As you can see, this is a game ROM. This is a game ROM Orion for the Nexus 6P. And it's running Lineage OS 15.1. Now, to a lot of you guys, that might not seem bad, but it is when it comes to root. This ROM has its own built-in root so method. So it's going to have a setting that's, that's enabled for root. And regardless, even if you remove the root binary, binary the app can still detect root because that option is still in the operating system. So it's just not going to work for me personally. But this is to show you guys that it can be installed easily. Now, the first thing we want to do is we're going to go into different categories. We're going to show you guys how to do it on the OS, and then we're going to show you how to do it on the custom recovery, and we're going to have a camera. I have to try, I'm going to be, by the time I charge my other phone to be able to record the video, you're going to notice that, you know, it's going to switch between sides. So the first thing you want to do is get everything prepared. Specifically, I'm going to show you guys that I don't have PS4 Remote Play being able to install. So right now I already have the, if I go to Mega and I go to Mega Downloads where I downloaded it, here it is, the new download, download update. I'm going to go click that. I'm going to Zip Viewer and I'm going just going to go simply install this. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try to install this. We're also going to extract the PS4 Remote Play Normal um, Zip and you pretty much notice there's no words the exposed. I'm sad to say this to for you guys that if you guys weren't paying attention to yes my yesterday last night's post or yesterday's post I posted that as of today I'm no longer supporting exposed framework this means if you want to be able to use it on a custom ROM you're going to have to figure it out yourself and I'm not going to be assisting anyone regarding this issue as we want to <clears throat> guide people to use their stock OS and being able to use it in a more efficient way. I know a lot of people get confused on how to install it, so we're trying to eliminate that confusion and try to make it much more easier. So this is the only way that I can make it easier as much as possible. And yeah, this is. The, but if you're looking for a video on how to install this update, uh, including the normal update manually, I'll have a link in the description where you can go to the video and watch the guide there and it's easy to do and it's, it's very simple. If you do everything wrong, the OS will, the, the app will not boot and you may not be able to install the application. So if you get an error called 0800 something, something, something and it had the last name 3, this means you have something that's modified the system. It can be from BusyBox, Root, etc, etc. So if you're having on stock, but you're getting this error, this means that either your, your manufacturer made their custom OS from Lineage OS, and they f did not remove the certain certain files like BusyBox, etc, etc, from their systems, and this is why your game is triggered. This has nothing to do of whether, whether if your system is compatible or not. This is, has to do with everything about anything that modified your system, regardless if it's Busy, BusyBox, SuperSU, etc, etc. Make sure that there's nothing that has been modified and ensure that your manufacturer has not modified your system in any form of necessary. And this including installing BusyBox because some companies do tend to leave BusyBox inside the build and it can be very annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try, I'm going to show you guys that I have the PS4 Remote Play beta right here and I'm going to install it and I'm going to try to attempt to install it, but it's going to give me an app not installed. As you can see here, this is what you'll get when you don't install the compatibility files. Many people say, oh, you know, we can just install it as normal. And, you know, people think that they're smart. They're very, very smart and intelligent that it'll install. But they're in, when they get this little icon, this little message, then they'll be like, what? And they'll think that there's something wrong with the application. 
Keep in mind, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this application. If you're not getting, an, if you're getting an installation error, the, you will have to install this normal zip. I'm going to extract this zip for you guys so you guys can understand of how this works before we get on with the full guide. So I'm going to extract it and I'm going to make sure you're going to have in the zip file, you're going to have meta INF and system. These are two files that should be present. If one is missing, then double check and make sure that you download the, the, the correct zip package and ensure that both files are there. If no one is gone, that means it's either a fake or something happened during the download process. So click system and we're going to see full four folders. In this update, a lot of you guys I saw on the post wanted all the PSN app to not be installed as a system app, and I listened to you. In app, we have removed the PSN app. In the system, we also changed the folder of from DualShock 4 to DualShock Manager. This is a, this is an APK that is going to install on your system in the system app folder, and this is allows you to be able to control and manage your PS4 controller. The second folder is etc folder. This is where it's going to get a little bit more, more down, more complicated down the line. So when you go to EdTech, you're going to see a folder called permissions. Make sure that you authenticate all of these these folders to ensure that you're getting you have the legit version of PS4 Remote Play. You'll have two. You'll, you, you before you only saw two permission files. Now you see a third one. What does that mean? <gasps> well, I'm going to explain to you. This little, this little permission file is called com.sonymobile.ds4. And what does DS4 mean? DualShock 4. DualShock 4 is the proprietary, proprietary name for the PS4 controller. And this is the permission that allows the PS4 co controller to be read, to be used, and, and be configured easily. You also have in framework, we also have more files. So before you only had these two files, in the folder. Now in framework, it's a little bit more complicated because now we have two more additional files. And you guys see the DS4, so what does this mean? DualShock 4. This is for the DualShock 4 and this is what the permissions permissions for the app that will read, read these files and then be able to configure itself automatically. This will allow you to use your PS4 controller easily without having to buy an actual Xperia device. Lib, this is not nothing here has been changed. It's pretty much the same. And this is specifically if you're just manually trying to, to install the app into some kind of form of way, and it will allow you for that. Otherwise, it just installed just for, for, the, for the safe and purposes of for the PS4 Remote Play app. But once you actually do this, we're not going to go and show you on how to install each one, but just keep sure if you are going to be installing, make sure you set the correct permissions. I see a lot of you putting the wrong permissions and then wondering why it's not working. Well, hello, Mr. Hotshot. You didn't follow the video. You did it halfway and you expect me to help you. And if, if you're going to ask a stupid question, then you're going to get a stupid answer. That's pretty much how I look at it. So don't ask stupid questions. Oh, no, it's not working. Or why is it not working? I don't have the permissions. That's a stupid question. You did something wrong, and you just decided to do it halfway, and I really listened up to the video. So every time I finish a video, make sure you watch all of it because you're going to miss important information just like this. Now, let's get started at installing PS4 Remote Play for Android using our custom recovery. And the custom recovery we have right now, and I highly recommend, is TDR, TWRP. It doesn't matter what Android, what, what version of TWRP is, is required, but you are going to be needing it because it's the most best way. You can use it in other, other, other recoveries, but the most recommended one is TDR, TWRP because it's not only the most secure, but the most fastest to install it. So let's get started, and I will see you guys in a moment. All right, we have a phone right now, and we're gonna show you guys on how to install it easily. This phone is called is the Nexus 6P that I have. I I, I really love this phone, and I actually don't want to I tell you guys I do have a custom recovery on this phone, and I can tell you it's possible, but you're gonna have to figure out how to do it yourself, it's depending on your device. All devices are different. I can't help you um, root your device, install custom recovery. You're gonna have to figure that out on your own, just like I did. Everyone did it. I had to do it. Pretty much, it's. All, 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 all for one, and not one for all. You know, kind of, kind of, kind of deal. So, 
enough of that. So we're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna go into boot um, recovery. I'm gonna tell you, show you guys that my op, my phone actually works properly. I don't have PS4 Remote Play installed, and I'm gonna show you guys on how to be able to install it. So the first thing we're gonna do, wanna do is we're gonna have to get into boot, boot the bootloader. If you have a custom OS, usually it's typically restart, and you have to go. You have an advanced recovery, which you can see right here. And if you guys can see it, it's called recovery. You click recovery, and it will start rebooting into recovery mode. Depending on your device, it will show up this lo a lo logo, just like you're gonna see mine momentarily. Just like this, your software can't be checked for corruption. Please lock the bootloader. Fuck the bootloader. So we're just gonna—it's gonna look after a few seconds. It will disappear, and it will go boot into bootloader. Depending on how bootloader you have, will depend on how fast the bootloader will boot into the bootloader. So let's get started. So is I have TWRP, which is the best t recovery out there today, and we have all these options. What you need to do is go to install, and you need to go find the the. What did I do that? You need to find your internal storage, and you need to find the PS4 Remote Play normal package. We're gonna go. We're gonna go into this folder that we have, we downloaded, and you're gonna see two files. We're gonna go into the PS4 Remote Play install files. Click that, and we're gonna go ahead and click this this little package. It's gonna say um, this operation is in, install incompatible. May make install incompatible software and render your device unusable. Just keep that. It's, it's telling you a little bit of warning, and then you just go ahead, and we're just gonna go click re reboot. It's ins installation's complete, and we're gonna go and swipe it. It's gonna install, set up the permissions, and it's gonna reboot automatically if you already set it to automatically reboot. Once it reboots, we're gonna have to wait a few minutes, a few, few moments, for it to boot. And it, it, as you see, I'm gonna show. Well, this is a whole process of video of what I do when I when I specifically test PS4 Remote Play. It's going to install the support for the DualShock 4, and it's going to install other things like that. And I'm going to tell you guys, I have a custom OS, so I don't have a stock right now. I hate the stock OS. I don't like it. I know a lot of people don't like it, but there are, depending on the device, there are ROMs out there that have been bloated and de outexed so you guys don't have to deal with all that bloatware and shit. I personally haven't found one for mine for my phone, but if you guys would love to point me in the right direction, Leave me a link in the bottom section below and it will help me. So now we're going to go and you see that the, my phone has booted. And we're going to go back into our mega folder. We're going to go into there. We're going to go into the PS4 app Play app. And as you see seen before, we see the application now. And we're now we're going to go ahead and install it. It takes a moment, depending on how fast your phone is. Uh, da, 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 da. I have a third kind of thing, eight for installation. Usually, if it would have failed, it would have given me error. Now we have it done. We can see now that we we can we can go back onto our phone and show you everything else. So let's get back onto our phone, and I will see see you guys there. Now we're back on our phone and we have PS4 Remote Play installed. So what does this do? And what does it mean when I when you install these files? Well, I haven't personally tested it because I am a custom I am on custom OS, so I can't just go test everything. So I rely on you guys to go test it for me because you guys are the ones using it. So I don't use this all the time, and I barely actually barely use it on my phone personally. Personally speaking, in my own opinion, I'm mostly on my PS4 all the time, so I don't go on my computer or anything like that to go on thing. And by the time I'm somewhere else, I don't have the enough you know data to be able to stream my PS4 games anywhere else, and I'm always moving, so I can't really do it. So you get the idea. So PS4 Remote Play is installed. We can go ahead and oversee the app information. You can allow. I would allow permissions if you want to. You want a microphone. You can see that it's completely installed. And now that you're able to do that, you're also able to launch it. As you can see, I'm gonna get an error. And eight eight zero zero one zero zero three is because I have a root. I don't have BusyBox, but if I were to remove the root feature from my phone from this OS, I would have gone gone past this, and I would have gotten this error. If you see this error. Just keep in mind, you have either BusyBox or something like that in your OS that is preventing you from launching this. So before you launch this, work on that, remove them, and you should be able to be good to go. If you're running this on a custom OS, you'll need Exposed, and you'll need to find a way on how to run it 
Unfortunately, I don't, as I said before, earlier in this video, I don't support PS4 um, X remote play on Expose anymore. So, there you go. Otherwise, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video and you guys want to see more videos just like this, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys do want to see just some Grand Theft Auto San Andreas gameplay, let me know also in the comment section below if you guys want to see like that, some of that too. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Oh, and before I actually end this video, I want to announce that I officially have my YouTube songs, the ones I personally made that I sang and stuff like that, especially the like the remixes. I have on my official SoundCloud. So if you ever search Cyber Gaming Studios on SoundCloud, you can see you can you can watch you can listen to all these cool awesome songs, such as from CGS Maximum, Maximum Prime Nuketown Zombies, Samantha's Damn Lullaby, and I'm gonna I'm gonna play you guys one for for right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video of this one, but I just made this one recently. But I'm not gonna show you guys that. But I'm gonna show you guys this one. This one's really cool. Oh my god, looking at this game. Now we move a new player turn. His name was demolished. 121. And you guys get the point, point. So if you guys want to head over and see my 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 SoundCloud, I'm gonna be uploading tons of songs on there. And whenever you guys want to specifically see any song without having to see my intro or outro, head over to my SoundCloud, and I'll be uploading my songs there. I have more songs that I want to be doing, and I want to upload on here. So this is the ones I have so far uploaded, and I hope you guys do do enjoy them. But right now, I hope you guys do enjoy this enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.